One of the features of Moto that may not be so apparent at first is the ability to paint soft selections. Now, there isn't a soft selection tool per se, but you can build such a tool in Moto using the tool pipe. So we're going to take this uh, great head model here that shipped with Moto, and the first thing we'll do is add a couple of weight maps. So under the VMAP list, we'll just select new, and let's call one eyebrows, and let's make another one and call it nose. Now let's uh, select the eyebrows one to start off with here. And I am going to change the shading type to VMAP. So you get this green color, uh, which is familiar to all you LightWave users out there. Basically, that's just saying that there's no values added to the v this particular VMAP yet. Um, so let's select our weight tool to add values. There it is. It's also Shift W. And most importantly, let's select Airbrush Fall Off. And I'm actually going to go ahead and turn on Symmetry. And I'm just going to use the right mouse button to define the size of my airbrush and paint in a selection for an eyebrow there. Actually, I got a little too much, so let me undo that. And kind of a sloppy painter. Okay. Now let me go ahead and turn off uh, Symmetry. And let's select the nose V map. So you'll see those disappear. They're still there, obviously, under the eyebrows V map. But you select the nose V map, where there's no values yet. Let me go to the right view, and I'm going to change my fall off. My V map tool is still active here, and I'm going to change my fall off to radial. And we'll just right click to expand that out. And let's just go to perspective mode here. Okay, if you write, if you uh, just click and drag in the viewport, you'll apply your weight tool. Now your uh, your fall off tool is still active, so you can go ahead and move that around so we get most of this guy's nose. Good enough. You can go ahead and change that fall off tool. Uh, to airbrush if you want to, and let's um, change our value to back to zero. And we'll just go ahead and we can erase some of these. See your little airbrush eraser underneath here. Clean that up a little bit. Okay. Now touch up there. Um, now that we've finished painting our V maps, uh, it's really just a simple matter of selecting our tool. I'm going to go ahead and use the push tool, and then making sure your fall off is set to vertex map. What that will do is it will take your currently selected vertex map and multiply your the V map values by that of the the value of your tool. So if I select the push tool here, you can see it's falling off along that V map. Go to his eyebrows. Gonna make him look like a caveman there. That's fun. You can use pretty much any tool. We'll use axis rotate, scale, anyway. That's just another example of using Moto's built in tools to. Let me go ahead and change this guy back to uh, shaded. Um, using Moto's built-in tools to create uh, soft selections.